We are back on The Morning Brew with friends, and we have Austin Madrid and Marlene Rios from the Interdisciplinary Film and Digital Media Program. And it's good to have you back on the show. We are just talking about Creative Mornings. You were here the other day talking about that, too. Yep. And that's a big thing going on tomorrow morning. And you guys are going to be there, mostly, yeah, probably. I need to sign up, get my name on the list. But the, uh, you guys are here today talking about film stuff. You guys just finished wrapping up a couple of awesome short films. Yeah, yeah, it's our uh, our senior project in the IFDM program. Mm -hmm. Less of a mouthful that way. Mm -hmm. um, is to, yeah, to interdisciplinary make interdisciplinary film and digital media program is a long <laughs> is a long one to say. Yeah, it's a lot to write too. You right, know, all of our applications end up being way longer. Than that. <laughs> um, but but we have to make a short film, and yeah. and so they split the class into two groups. And Marley's group, she's a producer for Jubilation. They did a live action short film with VFX. Mm. Uh, and, and we did an animation. And so it's two different short films, and, and we have to spend a whole year working on that. Very cool. And so how did you guys get into film? And like what, how did you end up to say, deciding you wanted to become a producer in film? Uh, long story short, I saw you know, AI when I was eight years old, and I was like, yeah, that's what I want to do. And I just followed that into college. And, much. and you just said VFX is the way to go. Um, I, myself, I'm not that much into VFX, but we had like a really solid VFX team and like they were really easy to communicate, so it made it easy for us. Very cool. So how, what's your film about? Um, Jubilation's sort of a story of disenchantment. It's about moving to a new town and finding that it's not quite what you expected. There's something odd going on where no one can sleep. We've got a little clip from it here, which is awesome. It seems to happen to a lot of my friends. They, they try to find geographic solutions to non-geographic problems yeah. and move to new exactly. cities, right? And it's something that I think a lot of us are familiar with, that, that problem. So where does the film take that issue? Um, it kind of takes it to a dark place and finds a dark solution for it uh, without ruining it too much. Yeah, I don't no think spoilers. Shiver really finds a way to fit into this town. Uh-huh. So where are, you, where are you hoping to go with this film? We're hoping to take it out on the festival circuit and hopefully get as much like viewership as possible so that all of our careers can hopefully take off from this. Yeah. That's the end goal. Yeah. Is it, is it on YouTube now? Um, it's on Vimeo. We've got a oh, link great. on Vimeo, so Jubilation short film. And anyone can find it there. Yeah. Very cool. And you did a film called Slow and Steady. Yep. And what's that one about? So it's an animation. It's about a tortoise, and he's just trying to to find some peace and quiet one night, and there's this cricket in his house. Is this so the tortoise here? That's the tortoise. That's, the, that's our guy. So that looks really amazing. And you just did that in school here. Yeah, well, it's, um, I actually reached out. So part of my job is to make sure my team has everything they need. And I reached out to Pixar to ask if we could use their render engine, because it oh, wasn't available really? to the public, or at least the students, for free at this point. Uh, and, and they did. They donated twenty-two thousand dollars worth of licenses to us, and so that is what makes no it look, way. look awesome. Like that, that is cool. So how did you like? Who, how do you just call up Pixar and say like, dude, like, lend me your software? Like, how does that conversation go? Was, I mean, that's basically what it was. I sent an email out. Like, I, I had it was really a cold call kind of situation. Um, I sent an email out and. And they responded within a day, and they're like, hey, we would love to, to help you guys out. And it was awesome. Uh, her name is Wendy, and she helped us through the whole uh, rendering process. She gave us That's a lot of support. That's amazing. And I mean, did they just say, cool, like, here's 22,000 bucks? Or did you have to like negotiate and? They, because they, uh, they want to release it to, for educational use for free. Right. And so like we were, um, we got it before they did release it, but they were they were interested in kind of letting us be their guinea pigs and see like if we release it to a school, what happens? And so um, they were definitely interested were you guys in seeing the how first we, students to get it. Probably not. Like there's been, definitely been other students that that have used it, um, but we were one of the we were one of the first. Very cool. So to receive it like this. I know there there are a million different software programs you can use to do rendering and make these cool animations. Mm -hmm. How is the the crazy Pixar thing different. I mean, it certainly looks beautiful. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's the main thing is that they just have really great uh, computer ways of doing things. I'm not a rendering guy. I don't know too much about it, um, but it has a really realistic feel to it. It does. It really brings some magic to it. What's the tortoise's name? Sheldon. Uh, but on bum <laughs> Yes. And what is, what is Sheldon, what's the plot around Sheldon in this? So it's kind of like uh, an expansion to the tortoise and the hare story. Uh, we said that the tortoise and the hare became friends, 
and, and they grew old together and the tortoise, I mean, the, the hare eventually died. And so Sheldon's trying to remember the hare on this day and he's so trying to get like some the peace. the sad version of that. It's a little sad, you know, but we've got this cute little cricket in to add It may be leaves. sad, but we got a cute cricket. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> the, so with these two, are you guys trying to, how are you trying to finance your next projects? What are you going, where are you going from here? Well, I mean, the biggest thing about film, at least for students, is that your your demo reel, your like uh, your reel that says this is the work that I've done, is more right. important than a resume. And so this right. is a big part of um, my team. A lot of them want to just go get animation jobs in the industry, or they want to go mm -hmm. get some sort of job out there, and right. they need to have something that to show for it. And so this is something they can bring to their next job. They can bring that to the table and say, look what I did. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Well, I know that one of the you know, though the film business here is big, and we're seeing a lot of people in New Mexico go into the business, mm -hmm. I mean, are there many openings for producers? Are there many openings for directors and animation people here? I mean, <laughs> we, you know, we can't walk onto a film set and ask for a producer I mean, job. We have right. to, we're out to start in the production office, but there's, there's definitely jobs available. There's so many productions happening right now. Right. Um, I'm helping out with the 40-hour film project, and one of our struggles is that there's so many productions happening, it's hard to get uh, teams to get involved because, I mean, there's, we work downtown and there's a, a production going on every day. And so yeah. there, there's a lot of jobs out there, but we definitely have to start from the ground up. That's cool. So how are you guys financing your next projects or what are your next projects? Um, I think a lot of it has to do with like building that network. Uh, for Jubilation, we did a lot of crowdfunding mm -hmm. and we found a lot of people that are like definitely interested in what we're doing and what we have to say as far as being filmmakers. Um, so it's just going to be continuing to build on that network and expand it and grow it and hopefully find a network of funders that like what we're doing and want to continue supporting it. Very cool. And you guys? I mean, it, I think it's going to depend on whatever project we go to. I think grants is a big way to get money for films. Um, but it, it's going to depend on the nature of the project. Um, grants are super helpful for documentaries. And I think mm -hmm. that that might be where I'm headed. So we'll have to see. Sounds like fun. Well, we'll come back in just a couple of seconds, but we want to uh, make sure you can find these. On Vimeo, you can find your film, Jubilation yeah. Short Film. Yes. And then we can find Slow and Steady on, on Vimeo as well. On Vimeo, just Short and Steady Film. Slow and Steady. Slow and Steady Film. Yeah. And then we can see the sad the sad story with the cute frigate. <laughs> and it's got a good ending. <laughs> OK, excellent. We'll be back in a couple of seconds of Morning Brew with friends. Let's see if we can get Sir Galahad back out here to do some more freestyle. That'd be awesome. Wouldn't it? He was great. <laughs> back on the Morning Brew with friends.